or this morning I couldn't help feeling angry that I said that I, that I said what I said in front of everyone but I don't really think that it's okay if we end up starving to death you think you can crack what you <laughs> you can crack that code <laughs> Ah, I see. <laughs> I need to do something. I need to do something soon. And then all of a sudden, I begin to feel faint and lost consciousness. Like the beginning of the game. Uh, oh, kablam. Hmm. How long was I asleep? I regained my consciousness a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. What was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground move. Maybe I'm just confused. And as soon as I mumbled that, a feeling was of exhaustion that filled me with ambivalence toward everything began to overpower my body. Whiskey? Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, Whiskey. I didn't see that. He uh, joined. And once again, I sink into the depths of unconsciousness. All right, let's see what we got this time. Emergency! Emergency! I had been gaming all night until the wee hours of the morning when I decided to go to the convenience store. There I saw some guy with good looks, fancy clothes, nice shoes, and an expensive car. There's no way a guy like that actually exists. He really lives in a rundown apartment and all he has is his pride because he doesn't have a stable job and money. But he wants to show off so much that he's forcing himself to do that. From morning till noon, he carries around boxes and furniture for his moving job. And at night, he works at a bar and serves big mugs of beer. But even with that, he still doesn't have enough money, so he sponges off his parents back home. As that fantasy played in my mind in front of the convenience store, I started to feel bad. Shocking. About myself. My body won't move. This has never happened to me before. I'm awake, but my body feels so heavy that I can't move. Also, it's really cold. Where's the cold as if the core of my body is getting numb? But... I need to, to go to Grape Tower. If I don't go to Monokuma Tai Chi, everyone will suffer. Oh. Somehow I managed to muster what little strength I had left and crawled out of bed. Uh, what time is it? <laughs> is that a teddy bear? It sure is. His name is Monokuma. He's basically what's causing all, all of this uh, to happen. What time is it? Though I felt incredibly weak from hunger, I managed to drag my heavy body to the lounge. And it's already five minutes till 70. Oh my gosh, I have to get there. Like super fast now. I really don't want to waste my energy participating in that activity, but if I ignore Monokuma's rule, everyone will get in trouble, not just me. I don't even have the energy to complain. Let's go to Grape Tower. Basically, we, we've been kidnapped kidnapped, and put into a uh, a murder game. A murderous game. Um, I don't even remember where it is that I'm supposed to go. Okay. He's also a toy. Don't tell him that, though. Azumi, good morning. Sunny, you seem energetic. <laughs> What's so funny? Amazing. My goodness, Hajime, when did your face become Mont Blanc all of a sudden? Mont Blanc? She's not energetic, she's extremely dangerous. <gasps> what? Just the corner is fine, so... May I take a bite out of you? Um... You'd get a stomach ache. Oh. oh my, now there's an adorable shortcake. That's wrong. Oh my goodness, she's not seeing people, she's seeing... Food. I'm not a shortcake, I'm Chiaki. Chiaki, you too. Are you about to head over to the Grape Tower? To the Grape yep. Tower? It's almost time. Come on, if you're too slow, you will be late. All right. Keep your distance. Eh. Chiaki. See? Come on, we don't really have time to relax. If we don't hurry, we're gonna be late. All right. Kinda wanna see what messed up thing this girl's gonna say now, though. Upon closer inspection, your face looks like a sash... sasher tort? Um. 
Might I trouble you for a bite near the center? I shall repay the favor later. You're gonna get a grip on yourself. Okay. Um, apparently... The place she's from <clears throat> in the Nova Selich Kingdom, it is okay to eat other people. Not cool here. All right, Achilles. Take care, my man. It was good to see you. Uh, you bit your friend's hand once while he was driving because I thought it was a chicken nugget. Um, that don't make sense. If he was driving and you were the passenger... How the heck did his hand look like a chicken nugget, dude? Unless if you had chicken nuggets like in the middle and and he like put his hand in there and then you were so hungry that you grabbed his hand and you were like, oh my God, and it actually was his hand. I don't know. Drunk, tired, high on hospital meds after a surgery. Or all three. Her kingdom is full of cannibals? It could be. You hadn't eaten in 48 hours. Why do you do that to yourself, man? Press the button. When I pressed the button, the door in front of me instantly opened. It was very sudden. That's right, so it was sudden. The door to despair always opens suddenly. Um. Oh, son of a biscuit. Oh, that's not what I expected. <laughs> On the other side of that door, I saw the remains of our friend. <sighs> Man. Do ultimate robots dream of clockwork? What the heck? We just got him back. No kidding. Also, did you see that instead of the blood being pink, it was blue? My oh my has been discovered. The tin man has been canned. <laughs> now then, after oh, a certain man. amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. Dude, he got the crap smashed out of him. You see that? I felt shiver course through my body. My heart began to pound faster and faster, and I could feel the blood in my head pulsating intensely. My teeth were chattering with horror. What the hell is this? When I finally was when I was finally able to speak, my voice sounded so small I could barely hear it myself. Why is this happening? It's so strange. He finally came back to us. If this is a nightmare, please just let me wake up. I couldn't think of any other way to describe it. And of course we're the ones in there. And we're already like like suspicious. You went four days without eating? My gosh. I couldn't do it. I think the most I've ever gone is maybe like a day and a half. And that's when I like, like had caught like some kind of crazy flu or something when I was in high school. Nekamaru? No, this is a lie, right? This is just... Based on our situation in the body discovery announcement, it's unfortunate, but there's no doubt that another killing has happened. Oh wait, there was an announcement. Killing? I can't deny this truth, but why? As usual, that, that was the only word I could squeeze out. Hey. What happened? Akane? Move. Move! Move it! Akane pushed me aside and ran straight over to Nekamaru. Why? Why is Nekomaru... Why did he have to die again? Oh. Damn it. I never paid you back. I never paid you back. For your help last time. <laughs> uh, does anyone see that? There's there's blood on the top of that column. Dang it. How cruel. This is just too much. Why did Nakamura have to die? Though his appearance was drastically altered, he still came back to us. Oh. Why? Why does this always happen? 
No matter how much I try to stop it, this is always the result. Is this something I can Damn I can't it. stop? Hey, Nekamaro got killed, right? That announcement means what I think it means, right? I won't forgive you. Who did it? Who killed Nekamaro? Maya. Looks like someone is finally pumped up. You. You. You know who did it, right? Who killed Nekamaro? What? What uh oh. Do want? Don't try to punch him or nothing. Don't get mad at me all of a sudden. In fact, I'm the one who should be mad. I went to a lot of trouble to bring Nekamaru back from the dead and he already let the killer break him. <laughs> Not disappointingly foolish. Maybe he had a few screws loose. <laughs> Can you keep the head? I don't know. I think she's going to keep it. Akane, that is. <laughs> you know, because he's a robot. You talking about Nekomaru? I don't think she had to do that in order to say what she said. Car ornament? Akane, calm down. Phew. Use those powers that your anger has woken for investigation. Um. The force has awakened in her. Uh, Monokuma, is there any way you can fix Nekomaru? Hmm. Hmm, I could have fixed him if his head was still attached, but he's, since he's like, this is impossible. Plus, the last time this happened, it was my fault. But this time, the killer is one of you guys. Yep. I'm under no obligation to fix him for you. <gasps> I guess it was a waste of time to ask In him. In other words... A life that dies once will never return twice. That's that's reality for you. So... So even though it's getting a little boring, let's get on with the usual it's routine. The Monokuma file! The Monokuma file! <laughs> also, this is a gift for me to you. Red bean bread and milk! Uh... Red bean bread? And everyday milk. <laughs> Seems like right now. I brought you guys a present since the killing went off without a hitch. Besides, if I don't feed you guys, you you guys pr probably wouldn't last long enough for a class trial. I'll definitely find out who killed Tochi Nakamaru. And after I kill that guy, you're next. I'll definitely destroy you. So even though it sucks, I'm gonna eat first. If I don't get some food in me, I can't unleash my full power. Where are Hiko and Gundam and Kazuichi? Hmm? You're right, if we're gonna avenge Mekamaru, <laughs> we gotta remain, uh, re regain as much energy as we can. Um, <laughs> Mr. Fisto, oh my gosh. They're, they were brothers. <laughs> I'm gonna eat. See? Come on, Hajime, you too. Yeah, you're right. I've been waiting to eat something. Are we just walking away from the dead body just like, but I'm hungry. Never expected I'd feel this terrible when I finally ate again. Hey! Hey! Eat it slowly. It'd be bad if you got a stomach ache. We had our food in silence. Slowly, my blood began coursing through my veins. I started to slowly regain feeling in my numb body. Phew! Isn't that wonderful? Looks like you've gotten your energy back. Then let's hurry up and start already. I'm gonna do it! She's gonna do it. The killer, and you, I'm gonna beat the out of both of you with my bare hands. However. Bare hands. Uh, regardless of whether we start or not, what has happened to the others? They appear to be extremely late. You mean the guys in the strawberry house? Now that you mention it, no one's here. Mm. That's weird, they should have come to Grape Tower because we had Monaco and Tai Chi. Unbelievable. How unacceptable. Mario Kart, you sound just like a like a Kane right now. You want to avenge his death or his murder? I never expected all of you to ditch Monokuma Tai Chi. Honestly, it was way way beyond my expectations. What are you gonna do? Wasn't to happen anyway. I guess it's what it is. Everyone ditched. Does everyone include us too? Do your best. <laughs> now do your best to investigate. I'll see you again at the class trial. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. What he says is true. Uh, hmm. I hear something. Um. Do you hear what I hear? Huh? What do you hear? Huh? Could it be Nakamaru? Damn it! Of course not. He's already dead. Yo. Oh well. Now's not the time to worry about that sound. That sound. What are you talking about? I don't hear anything. Um. And what about Gundam and the others? Is it all right that we have not summoned them here? Huh. They're gonna come here soon anyway. Now's not the time to worry about them. You're right, they shouldn't... They should have heard the body discovery announcement already. They'll probably come soon, maybe. Yep. 
Then we should start the investigation soon. Yeah, you're right. I gotta do it. I have to do it. Hmm. First, I need to look at the Monokuma file. Nekamaru Nadai. Dude, this guy was 6'4", 268 pounds. And someone took him out. The victim is Nekamaru Nadai, aka Mekamaru, after his robotic transformation. His body was discovered in Grape Tower, which is inside the funhouse. His head is, is severely damaged and beyond repair, so that should shall be considered the cause of death. Looks like they had tied him up. Um, despite the fact that his arms and legs are dismembered. All, uh, wait. Arms, plural? Looks like one arm might still be on, but I guess that they're saying that they're both not attached? I don't know. These, these limbs were actually designed to be detachable, and it seems that they separated due to severe impact. Aside from that, several other areas of his body are damaged. Because of this, many of his functions seem to have shut down. <gasps> Does his internal clock still work? His arms and legs were detachable, and it looks like they separated due to a severe impact. Does that mean Nekmaru was repeatedly clubbed with some sort of weapon? Like the hammer that's sitting right there? But was there a reason they needed to, clump, to club him over and over again? <laughs> you can buy a new toaster. And call it Nekamaru. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's, let's start here. Broken pillar with the blood all over it. The pillar next to the door is tipped over and broken. Did this pillar break when it fell over? Not just that, there's a stream of liquid on the upper section of the pillar. Is this Nekamaru's Nekum oil? This is the only pillar that's tipped over. The other one is still standing. Plus, behind me is the, is the door to Grape Hall. The two pillars on each side of that door haven't changed either. They're not tipped over. It's strange that this pillar is the only one that's tipped over. It might mean something. Did someone tip it over and it hit him off, hit him off the head first or something? <laughs> I see. I got it. Move got what? Me. This pillar is the weapon. Uh, the killer used this to beat up Coach Nekamaru. This huge pillar? Damn it. If he got socked by something like this, even Coach Nekamaru wouldn't stand a chance. Yeah, well, that's impossible. It'd be too heavy to wield as a weapon. Also, let's remember, the dude got shot by a rocket launcher. Now then. Hajime, grab that end over there. Huh? I'm gonna do it! We have to try it out, obviously. Come on, hurry up. Fine. She's more forceful than usual. I guess we're trying to see if we can lift it or not. Puff puff. It's no use. It's barely budging. Didn't I tell you? All right. If that's how it's gonna be, my body can take it. Power times three. No, seriously, just give it up already. Why? It's no use. It won't. It won't even budge. If two people can't even move this pillow, then it's impossible to use as, as a bludgeoning weapon. Well, there's only one person who could have lifted something like this. Robo Coach Nekomaro, he's definitely the only one. Okay. Oh, let's talk to her real quick. Did you find anything? Hmm. Hmm. Looks like you haven't found anything yet. Leave it to me. We need clues, right? I'll remember something, so just wait for it. Hmm. Wait for it. Hmm. Looks like that's gonna be a little yeah. hard. Oh, I remember. There is something I thought was weird. I'm happy early in the morning. Going back that far? Come on, you notice it too, right? You heard that rumbling sound. Rumbling? I think that was someone's stomach. What? Was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground move. I guess I'm just thinking too much. Um... I was sleeping pretty heavy, so I wouldn't think about it. I wouldn't think about how hungry I was, but that noise woke me up. 
I ran out of my room without thinking, and after I did that, then what happened? Hmm. I didn't see anything, and it looked like the others didn't come out, out of their rooms either. I felt pretty dumb for being the only one who came out, so I went back into my room and fell back asleep. In the end, I never found out what that sound was, but it's been on my mind for a while. You know, now that you mention it, it does seem strange. So what was that sound? Hmm. You don't know either? Well, I should tell you in more detail. When I ran out of my room, I happened to glance at the lounge clock. It said it was around 5.30. Will you be able to find out anything of that info? I didn't think that rumbling noise happened that early in the morning, but I'm not really sure if that noise pertains to the incident or not. Why? Oh, I went to the, all, uh, I went to the trouble of remembering that, and you've got nothing? Why are you so useless? She seems agitated. Well, it's understandable. Okay. An enormous hammer has been carelessly left on the floor. It's like it's suspicious because it stands out so much. How cruel! Perhaps the hammer is the weapon that broke Nekomaru? I do believe a weapon of that size is capable of damaging Nekomaru. If this hammer is the weapon? By the hammer of Thor! But it looks a little too clean. It's almost like it's new or something. It is strange, no? Also, where did the killer obtain this hammer? Right to now, I do not believe I have ever seen an object like this. Was it hidden somewhere? Good point. There's no supermarket in here. I wonder where they obtained it from. <laughs> Akane is is cute. I'm pretty sure that um, so a lot of the characters from Danganronpa 2 are actually um, they are characters from Danganronpa 1, but their characteristics have all been jumbled. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Let's look at the body. Oh, and by the way, we don't have a nurse to do autopsies anymore. It's Necromaro's body's cruelly broken. It looks like it's been so, so severely damaged that even his head was dented. That'd be the fatal wound, right? But Necromaro's robot body should have been able to it should have been durable enough to withstand any assault. <coughs> Excuse me. For Nekomaru to be this damage, it can only mean whoever attacked Nekomaru didn't hold back. Now is probably not the best time to think this, but I guess Nekomaru was really transformed into a robot, huh? I was getting used to the idea, but now that I think about it, robots are definitely unusual. Well, it doesn't matter if he was a robot or not. Either way, Nekomaru was still killed. Hey, fish! Uh, it's definitely strange, isn't it? Hmm, well. what is? If they wanted to kill him, they could have just destroyed his head. Why did they destroy his entire body, too? Maybe they didn't know how to kill a robot, so they damaged him all over? You. But they went against Coach Nekomaru. He ain't the type to die easy. They obviously didn't fight him head on, but even then, he wouldn't leave himself open to attack. You're right, in fact, that's the biggest mystery. Nekomaru was even stronger after he became a robot. Can't think of anyone who would be capable of killing him. Anyway, this alone does not isn't enough of information. I should investigate a little more thoroughly. Can we look at the internal clock? Yeah, right now, Chiaki... Well, Chiaki and Akane. Sonia's okay, but she's... she's I'm pretty sure she's dead. Next, next round. The cover on his chest is open slightly. Yep. But it won't open much more because the cover's on the stop. If only Kazuichi was here, we might be able to open it. What the heck are you be doing right now? Sleeping? Okay, so... Even if I try really, really hard? Take a look at his head. Huh? There's something protruding from behind Nekomaru's neck. Is this? That's the off button. That's like the emergency off button, I think. That's right. It's a cutting edge function that puts my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Just press the good night button on the back of my neck, and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. Can we tell if it was pushed in or not? Maybe the killer pressed this button and made Nekomaru enter sleep mode. But still, it's hard to think the killer was able to easily press a button on the back of Nekomaru's neck. Even 
Nekamura was ambushed, it still wouldn't be easy. The good night button. Yeah, yeah, uh, Twitch is, Twitch is on the uh, Xbox as well. I watch it there sometimes. Oh man, my neck hurts, guys. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's because I'm sitting kind of funny. Wire, okay. Uh, the sturdy metal wire tied to Nekamura's left leg. Of all things. Same wire is tied to his arms. It's almost like he was bound up or something. But even if they bound him up, the killer still had to deal with a robotic Nekamaru first. Who did this and how were they able to bind Nekamaru? Also, the tip of this wire... Oh, it looks like it had been tied into a loop, but... What was the point of this? It looks like a noose. Um... Alright, let's let's look at the blue... the blue blood. The, the, the blue blood. The oil. flowing out of Nekamaru's body. Based on the smell, it seems like oil. It seems to be flowing heaviest from Nekamaru's head, probably because that's where the fatal blow was dealt. This oil for Nekamaru, this might be similar to normal blood in humans, which means all this oil is just a pool of robot blood. Anyway, that's a whole lot of oil. It's not going to be easy to clean up. No, now's not the time to even worry about that. I guess for now, this is all I can do to investigate Nekamaru's body. Okay. I should back off for now, yes. Um... Let's... I see. I in this case... See. In this case, it's Monokuma file. There is no written time of death, right? Didn't that happen when Ibuki and Hyoka died too? Oh, did it? Well, the reason the time of death wasn't mentioned when those two died was because the time of death was key to the mystery surrounding their murder. Could that be the case this time too? Um... By the way, I would like to confirm this just in case. Ultimately, is it safe to assume that Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower are the same building? Well, that's the only thing we can think of. Even when we experimented with Chiaki's handbook and left it in Grape Tower, it still showed up in Strawberry Tower. Which means? Which means? The reason each tower's wall is different colors is because the floor lighting is changing the colors. The reason Usami's floor portrait is different in each tower is because it is merely a projection. That should be the case. Then then it is decided the two towers are the same building. Which means the scene of the crime is simultaneously Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower. Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower are the same building. How does that pertain to Nekamaru's murder? I think she's trying to say, like, it could have been a girl or a guy. Since they they were separated. You think that the ninja man killed him? What, you mean Gundam? Oh, what, what do I recommend for a good gaming chair? I've actually never owned an actual gaming chair. I, I just use like an office chair. It was like a Amazon special years ago. I think we got it for like 50 bucks. And it does the job. It's not super duper comfortable, comfortable but you know. Although when I first started streaming years ago, I actually used um, one of the chairs from, from my kitchen. Yeah. Ev everyone starts somewhere. <laughs> Gundam style. Gundam style. <laughs> What's this? Did you find something? Well? Under Nekamaru's body, no wait. There are small rock-like fragments underneath Nekamaru's body. You didn't need to correct yourself like that. And what do you, what do you mean rock-like fragments? See? Oh, look. There are a lot of these small fragments. It's like they fell under Mechamaro's body. Well? But oddly enough, though these fragments are underneath Mechamaro's body, there are hardly any are there are hardly any on top of his body at all. What's strange about that is there is a problem that they're not on top of his body. Yep. If you don't know, it's okay. It probably means they're not that important. Well, if you put it like that, now I can't help but think they're important. Exactly. Alright. 
I think. I think we're done in here. Wait, there's there's a lock on the door. What the heck? You see that? It's all chained up. What is this? The door at the far back has a chain wrapped around the door the doorknob. It, lo it looks like it's a sturdy sturdy metal chain. Didn't Mechamaru have chains around him? Oh, okay, yeah. That makes sense. It's wrapped around the doorknob from every direction, and it's even a, has a padlock on it. Why did they do something like this? Um. Perhaps this was used as an alternative to locking the door with a key? If that's the case, you wouldn't be able to enter this tower from this strawberry hall side. After all, this door should lead to Strawberry Hall. You are right. 